These two questions can help you figure out if you should stick with voiceover or not. After that, I'll give you some legit ways to help your career grow. Have you been plugging away at voiceover classes and workshops and you're just feeling like you're not getting anywhere? There could be a reason for this. There could also not be a reason for this. So here are two questions to ask yourself, plus some applicable things to help. One, is voiceover something you really still want to pursue? Tenacity in this industry trumps talent. What one client loves about you, another may not. Sometimes what clients deem as talented has more to do with personal preference. But at the same time, maybe you just realize you don't want to keep grinding at the wheel. Please know that that's not failure. That's realization. It's okay to say, you know what? I gave it a good shot, especially if it's just too draining for you. But if your answer is yes, then just realizing this, sometimes that's enough to get you unstuck. Second question to ask yourself, do you truly feel that you've set your voiceover business up for success? Have you done the work to make sure that you have a solid business foundation? Now, this isn't about that, but if you do feel lost in that area, that's specifically why we created a business branding and marketing foundational course. It's all on demand on video video at provoiceovertraining.com. I'll link it in the notes. But if you're thinking about all this, do you have all the elements you need? Do you have a quality home studio? Do you have multiple voiceover agents? Do you have a marketing plan in place? Have you thought through all the scenarios and issues? That's just to start because having that foundation means a lot and can help your business grow. So now that you've asked yourself those questions, here are some what to do's to help set yourself up for success. One, fill your opportunity pie. What is an opportunity pie? Auditioning is sort of a gamble. That is the job and you don't get paid for that. Of course, you need quality auditions so that you have a chance of booking, but there's a lot of competition and a lot of the booking aspect is just out of our control. So that means you have to increase your opportunities so that you have more chances to book. So think of these opportunities as a pie. You need to be getting audition opportunities from these sections of your opportunity pie each week, preferably every day. Section number one, agents. Aim to get at least three agents from different regions. Next section, online casting sites. Third section, outside rosters, recording studios, production studios, internal company rosters, and then finally, self-generated clients. Aim to fill each of these up. We have a ton of resources and it's basically why we exist to help you with your voiceover business. Now, this video isn't about what we offer, but I'll touch on them and then you can check them out in the notes if you're interested. Every course we offer is geared to help you level up your voiceover game. So first off, agent rep prep. We have an on-demand version at provoiceovertraining.com or there's a live class via Zoom at atlantavoiceoverstudio.com. Whether you do the on-demand version or the live via Zoom, each of them are effective in teaching you how to get agent representation. Online casting sites, great way to get more opportunities. Castvoices.com, adalgo.com, voplanet.com, voice123.com, all solid online platforms. And if you go with V123, if you want 15% off, we have an affiliate link in the notes. Figure out which one is right for you though. Want to find out what rosters to submit to? Go to voiceoverresourceguide.com. They've got a brand new site and it's geared to help you in your voiceover career. I mentioned finding internal company rosters. Where do you go for that? Find internal company rosters by going on LinkedIn and then implement the marketing strategy that you get from our business branding and marketing course. It's all for self-generated clients and I'll link that in the notes, but it's at provoiceovertraining.com. Doing all that will keep you busy and empower you because you'll know that you're helping to build your voiceover business. Forward momentum feels so good, especially when it comes to your voiceover business. There's something else that we offer called Industry Pro Workouts. It's where we invite an industry pro like a casting director or an agent, you get to read for them and get feedback directly from them, also with some redirects. It's a great way to start relationships. Another way to set yourself up for success is to figure out your niche. Now, I have a very common voice. I'm a white male. My voice is somewhere between 30 and 50 years of age. I'm friendly. I'm conversational. I can be cool, upbeat, next door neighborly. There's a few of us out there. So you want people to remember your voice and start thinking of you for projects that come up. So one of the ways, determine your specific voice niche. We like to call it your voice print, kind of like a vocal fingerprint. Now, if you took our beginner voiceover intensive, look back to your week eight of notes where everybody in the class gave you descriptive words or terms or phrases that describe your voice. All this can help you determine your voice print. And if you've never taken a class like our beginner voiceover intensive that showcases that aspect of your voice, well, you can sign up online and do it live via Zoom or here at the studio. Or try and find a class like that wherever you are. 
are. Pretty sure we're the only ones that do it though. But that's one great way to help you level up and stand out. Heidi and I have actually talked about doing a branding specific workshop. So if that's of interest to you, give us a thumbs up and comment in the section below. It's something that we would offer locally as well as live via Zoom. Love to get your thoughts on that. The next thing you could do to set yourself up for success, do you have a voiceover tribe or an accountability group? You need other voiceover talent who can cheer you on. Friends and family, as great as they may be, if they're not in the industry, they don't know what you go through. People who understand the business can. That's why it's great that Heidi and I have each other. We can just bounce off each other if things are going good or bad and encourage one another throughout. So if you want to find a tribe and you're local here to Atlanta, well, make sure you join us for our off mic night. It's our social that we have once a quarter. I'll link it. You'll meet some great people and you can keep up with them in the meantime. Now, finally, are you someone who has taken classes? You've gotten a demo, but you haven't done anything with it. Here are some more applicable things that you can do to get unstuck. Figure out your roadblock. This may require some soul searching. Journaling may help too. For Heidi, she admits she gets stuck because she has a fear of failure. It's easier for her to take classes and to do this and to do that to prepare, but actually beginning to do it means she's responsible if she quote unquote fails, or she may question whether she's really that good or not. She is. For her, she constantly has to push through that fear of failure. For me, it's not fear of failure. I've done enough counseling to know that that's not my bent. Plus, I'm a little older. I know that failure is key to growth. My roadblock tends to come in the form of not putting systems in place in order to help me be consistent, like at marketing myself regularly or updating things in a timely manner like on my website. That took me six months to do. But I got it done. For many others, it's their need to be perfect. Even though there's really no such thing as perfection in any field. Let me say it again. There's no such perfection in voiceover. So that's it. Once you figure out your roadblock, you can figure out a plan and get past it. Got two more left. Set a specific date and action. What would be one small step that you could take to get unstuck? Some things that could help are what I mentioned. Industry Pro Workout. Linked. Sign up for online casting sites. Maybe send one email to one agent. Maybe share your demo on LinkedIn or the socials. You never know who's going to see it or hear it. Determine what action you want to do and then by what date that you're going to do it. And finally, this is is the one thing that could make or break it for you. And it's really gonna seem basic. Accountability. Tell somebody. Since you've nailed down the dates and actions, find someone that you can tell. Ask that they text you on a certain day and time to make sure that you've done it. Just get 1% better or do 1% more the next day. By the end of the year, you're gonna get so far ahead. It's amazing the amount of momentum one small step can give you. Take all this into consideration and then do what works for you. This voiceover journey is a road and it has ups and downs. You're gonna feel stuck some moments and then you're just gonna feel like, I can't slow down from this. Learn to enjoy all of it. And in those tough times, the more you push through it, the more resilient you'll become and the more sustainable your career will be. I hope that helps. Our mission here at the Atlanta VoiceOver Studio and ProVoiceOverTraining.com is to equip, elevate, and inspire you and your voiceover journey. Thanks for watching.